Okay, so Master Mason, I've been slamming him out tonight, getting busy all fucking jacked up to get back in the mill. Uh, get on a good set where I can do, where I can show off a little bit. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of the standards, and I want to try a few things, make sure I'm getting out front, working inside of their system that they're giving me here, and doing kind of mechanical robot work. Um, there's flipping on the ground that deserves a standard for again one plus one equals two. Uh, I'm gonna break this thing down, and again, y'all, you know, here's some finished thing. And this is my HTT code. Um, I'm also gonna do, I, like I said, I got a picture of one of those absentee ballots, and understanding that the names that happen inside of here are the same kind of research that you got to put into every one of those names. I need to know the good, the bad, and the indifferent. Is there a, is there a thing with horns and, and a tail sitting on that spot? Uh, you know, when you're sealing, s sitting on crack stacks, obviously safety is the way, you know. It's a job interview, Tommy. you got to dress like a cartoon wolf. Uh, but also that 14, 16, 18 stack set up, tops and bottoms got to be that. You know, each of those are operational models that I go through and individually do things. There's a way to bucket to the rail in a series of frames that equally to certain designs or how I like my boards written out, you know, it doesn't matter the position, there's not always that catcher. There's a way to grade off of this and that tells you a lot about other material, the uh, gas pressure over here, the air pressure on the line, gives me a timeline to date. Uh, equally to seeing some stuff on the chalkboard about how things are adjusted or when things are supposed to be done or how things want to be done. Having a little green flashing light or a red flashing light or a little LED on, on the on the air crane that just somebody can press and my, I got to know my green al or my gray alien. Uh, figure it out. You know, sometimes that's that red crack or, you know, from across the mill or something like that. Uh, you know, so I got the straps in here, you know, that's going to give me a breakdown to be able to say, hey, from here, that's, that's your guy, this is your setup, your set of, your system, and I want you to go out and do these things, you want to focus that, you want to have your own walkthrough, and I want you to walk your own walkthrough, for, for me it was this, for you it was that, you know, my dump setup to what my numbers should be to a standard and setup and what. Well, my situation is we're going to start roughing this out. This is that first line, that squishy zone. From here, these are the main faculties that we'll get into a safety brief. Or what I'm going to throw up on your thing. You know, get underneath that rail right there. You know, kind of throw one of these up. Watch your stacks. Some stacks have been issues. Or, or bunks have been the issue where that pile is over there. That corner where the stock is for your separating and flipping. Trying to get. I'm gonna do the right thing. But Dan, why are you fat bastard and not Freddy Krueger? Because of mistakes I'm not going to cut you, Dora. My God, is that a real machete? Zoot suit right on! Come real handy. <laughs> Uh, you know, whether they be 49 stock or 26 stock, 18, 6, 12, you know, when you're cutting down, making the tallies for what those things are, this goes to Excel. With a real rough and dirty, you know, you want some way to be able to track that down and then quarterly throughout the day, launching at the end of the day, take this, clean it up, figure out what you were running that day. That was the square footage. Your grading on the other end of that should should match what the output is to explain what you know as a grader ready to jump into the saw. Uh, a lot of the ground guy position stuff, like I said, hammer and chisel, that's important while dealing with some of that material you'll find on these blocks. You know, I want that drawn out. It's a... Uh, it's essentially a math problem. Here's circle A, circle B. Here's an area problem A with some stuff, and I need treads. I need pattern, two by threes. And how does this function over sheets individually as stacks, as it's running, pumping individually for timelines, for systems and areas under the under the model, the standard model, up, down, left, right, spin, charge, mass, see, bulls on. Put on the rail. Hold me in there. You know, so I, I've, I've, again, I've done these before. 
I've done block tallies and count sheets. You know, you got this many rocks out of that block. I had this many cakes. Those cakes turned into this many things. And so those mechanical numbers make sense somewhere and other things, but they're all mechanical. They should correlate to that. Then there's now put on the tailings, how much of that's saw time. I'm sure it's not that, but for where I was living. Catch an otter. What a loser. You're not a loser, Shout it out. I'm coming home with me, Stan. Oh, whiteboard training, clipboard training. Uh, you know, those are cool ways to go about doing it. Because every once in a while, you get a type of one of those maps. It's that Euler's number bit. You know, I, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, that's what I, you know, and I want you to get that here. Shortstringer's product integration. This is a wave function. If you want to do the. The golden ratio on the golden ratio, there's not a lot here. They're the same thing, different. That's the block coming through. And when you write that stuff down, that correlates to weights to the truck, that correlates to the uh, line time, that correlates to what the finished result should be um, on those numbers and how tight that should be. Uh, and you should tape every one of those and get ahead on those. Have that burn time ahead of that system like that. Um, you should be able to get in front of that given the series of operations other people have, how it's broken down, because that's going to correlate to the safety, where all these numbers graphed off. They graph off consistently certain times what happened in the operation that in the matrix of it didn't correlate to the same the derivative model, polarization, light function, cornerstone, uh, uh, incident reports, if you know. Because uh, then you come in, and again, like I said, this teaches physics, it teaches the safety, psychology, behavioral, fundamental, stock models of people's companies, how saws and machinery and factory lines work how they offset, who does what skills, what skills are, and it serves gravity of who stays under that torch, who, who stays under the pressure, the, the EM field of them saws running. That runs, do things. Again, those times, you know, I'm hitting that, that gives me... And all that set up, all things are locked up, all my things are run down, I got five minutes on this. Or somebody's switching me out doing things, I'm running, burning the billets, burn one, put two up, keep them down. Like I said, roll, that slows me down in case those systems are out. Distending that, figuring out that matrix, otherwise I'm just burning it, somebody else is putting it to the air crane, the machine is putting it to the air crane. The automatic drag is rolling it, it's cutting, it's... boring. <sighs> Right, Dan? Oh, it is. You think it acquired for $2 billion Block cuts and things like that. You got to run them out. Like I said, you draw them like you do the same stacks there. And you say, I put four to the table. Here's the brown edge. And I pulled out this many two by threes out of there. This is this is my recut sec. That's my recut section or anything specialty we wound up cutting that day in the form so it's all locked in there that quantifies that problem uh and that's what you get out of that not a lot of places give you that real opportunity compared to manufacturing just being a, a mason robot you can you can really open that up and hopefully you'll have a season with a dude watching over your shoulder being like oh no kick the torch this way and that there we're gonna work that out on the model because uh, that's what they do while you're doing this and doing that other stuff. And if you do it right, real good, and everything's locked up, you know, you can do some easy stuff like dig around with the ditches and water hose, you know, play around, get through the day. Uh, I'm here with my wife. You mean Pamela Anderson? No, her. Smoking hot hard I'm missing something in here. Like I said, I tried to get all the air, and then we walk through all this individually, and. I get you to start doing that. Like I said, that's going to become your resume. No way. Take this stuff, clean them up, do them on Excel, get that stuff going. It shows that and an additional skill. It shows PowerPoint. It shows engineering of a skyscraper, bolting in steel beams for the hurricane windage because shear force wasn't at the time modeled in that way because you've never built one that big before. 
Uh, no man way. So for me, I can get an air turbulence equation, gravity, black hole, singularity, accretion, accretion disk, Penrose map, uh, my psychologist, drug and alcohol, prison model. I mean, for me, again, I'm going to walk in and just start doing it may eat or otherwise. You just start breaking down cell time. Theoretically, I'll just start doing, well, you got this time in the morning. These are your open rotations. How do you bring in? What is the psychologist doing? What are they afraid of? So we're going to start modeling around that. And uh, try that. It's an erase pen. We, we, catch you on the next one.